All right, guys. So this is going to be a dream uh, review. As I always said, that I tend to do these movie reviews. Uh, the streaming movies stay here on YouTube, but the theatrical movies uh, go to go to Patreon. And I will be reviewing uh, the movie upcoming, the new film that's just out, uh, Boy Kills World. And if you want to check out my review for that, just hit the link below, head on over to Patreon, hit the first tier. That'll allow you access to those, as well as the polls and the ep episode reviews of X-Men 97 that I've been doing on there. And also you can backtrack and check out my thoughts on Hasbun Hotel as well. Anyway... But like I said, we're this is a streaming movie, so we're going to be talking about that. This is a, this came out today on Shutter. I think this is also I did a seven day free trial. Um, I watched this and Late Night with the Devil, which I was contemplating on doing a review, but like everyone and their mother's done a review on how good uh, Late Night with the Devil is. Really good movie. I highly recommend it. It might be on my top ten um, on my, uh, at the end of the year, but we'll see. And this one's also in the running, and that movie is Infested, uh, the new spider film from France. Now, I was interested in this movie for a couple reasons. One, I'm always down for a good creature feature film. I am. I will never say no to a creature feature film, even if it, may, it even if it, I'm a horribly arachnophobic. Even like I have some serious arachnophobia. Um, perfect example. I was about I was about to take a shower at my girlfriend's place, and there was this big spider just crawling on the wall right over the shower, and I immediately like you thought I would have had instant transmission because I noped out of that bathroom so far uh, so fast. You thought I teleported. Um, anyway, um, I had like uh, and then she had to go in there, and I'm not afraid to say this because I uh, like again arachnophobia like. I went in. I left that bathroom so fast. She went in there to kill it for me. She said, "I can't find it." So I was like, "All right, I have to pee, so I gotta go back in there." And sure enough, the moment I opened the door, there it is, crawling on the on the shelf, just up the shelf. And I and I immediately just bounce again. The spider was killed eventually, and I didn't pee my pants. If that's where you think the story was going, but yeah, every time I go now, every time I go and whenever I'm at her house. I, and I'm in her bathroom. I like, like my head darts around the uh, the bathroom every time, like it's now instinctual. Um, <laughs> anyway, but yes, um, I was still like yes, I was going to put myself through all of this, and it's also funny because like we had another spider film about two weeks ago called Sting, which I reviewed on Patreon. Um, if I had a movie, if I had a nickel for every time there was an apartment film with spiders in it, with giant spiders in it, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that's happened twice. Yeah. So let's get into it. We're three minutes in. Let's talk about the actual movie itself. Now, this is a French film. This is a um, foreign film. Um, so yeah, if you can read, if you can listen to, you know, sub, if you can read subtitles in a movie. Or, or like an anime, this should not be a problem. And I don't see a lot of French horror movies. Um, I don't really see a lot of French horror movies. Um, but this was one also grabbed my uh, grabbed my attention because the other reason I wanted to see this movie was because the director of this film um, had was selected, handpicked by Sam Raimi personally, to direct the next Evil Dead film. So I wanted to watch this movie to gauge. Um, how good of a direct like what can, what can we expect from this director from this movie because this was the reason he got this film so i had to check it out i had to see what the case was and you know what this fucker's gonna make a this dude is gonna make a damn good um evil dead movie but without further ado we're four minutes in let's finally talk about the movie itself so the movie is set like i said in france and in this little uh, apartment high rise and essentially what it is is that this boy named Caleb, um, who collects animals, buys the spider that with this unknown spider that was found in the Middle East, and essentially takes it home. He takes it home just to like have it in his little collection while he's doing like a, a side project of selling of uh, back selling shoes. Um, however, the spider gets out and proceeds to terrorize, you know, multiply and terrorize throughout the entire you know, apartment complex, leading to these spiders growing bigger, larger, and more aggressive. 
these th uh, this is if you like i said if you're an arachnophobic like me this movie's gonna make your fucking skin crawl there's no doubt about it this movie will uh, this movie will get under your skin like there like it's interesting because sting sting basically this should have been what sting was uh sting was a movie that had an alien spider that just grew bigger and while they don't really explain why this spider in the middle east um keeps growing to the side because they get to ridiculous size and like there's the only reason is oh there's predators in the middle east that eat it and keep it from growing big and i'm like yeah but still whatever it's a creature feature movie i'll i'll, I'll ignore it like that's the i didn't really think about that but i was like yeah but these spiders keep getting getting bigger and bigger you'd have to really think that like predators are not and how they replicate is kind of a big deal like you'd think you'd see more of them but whatever um they do say that light is kind of a factor of why they're uh, why they're uh, slow so i guess sunlight is also another factor of why they're, they're not a big species that in this continuity but whatever it's a creature feature movie i will accept it but yeah if you don't like spiders i really like how like re the how they these movies how this movie starts is very much like how you would encounter a spider in any way shape or form like op like touching a towel and having it scurry up your arm i really hated doing that right now because i've actually had spiders in my towels and yes i did scream like a bitch in case you're wondering um encountering a spider in you know a vent or something or just running into it it's also fascinating to note that this um film used real spiders now it's it's uh, uh, the cgi is low but they do use it for a few shots but for the most part you are looking at real spiders um and the cgi they do use while it's cheap the lighting and how they utilize um the spiders and how they they angle them in the in the cgi especially the cgi spiders um it's very like it's not no the cgi is hardly noticeable i mean it's noticeable for one or two scenes but really and i think they did a good job of not showcasing that the cgi uh, that i this uh, this was not a big budget movie apparently so um yeah <coughs> oh, excuse me anyway um this has some serious evil dead vibes i can see why sam raimi um I can really see why Sam Raimi picked this director for the next Evil Dead movie. There's some epic cam there's some great camera angles. The story itself focusing on Caleb and his group his sister and his group of friends, it, they're not like cannon fodder. They are a little annoying at the beginning, but like you understand throughout the movie why they are the way they are and they basically have to, you know, fight past all their little past traumas throughout the film in order to get to where they are now. Very much and I really like that it's a sibling film again and again. It, it it's another film of monsters in an in an apartment in a tight confined space. I can't imagine why after Evil Dead Rise, um, fucking Sam Raimi would pick these guys. But anyway, um, it, and yes, I know I didn't mention it before, but this movie does have a lot of feeling of arachnophobia. The movie, not the actual fear. But this is basically arachnophobia if it wasn't like had a hor it wasn't a horror comedy. That's the best way to describe um, Infested. Is like if you took um, arachnophobia, took out all the comedy and made it a pure horror film. That's the best way to describe um, to describe this film. Honestly, I also really like that they. There is some great camera work in here, some great shadow, uh, like how they utilize shadows, um, how they utilize like the light or l wherever. And there's some genuinely tense moments. Like there are some moments in here that just make you go, oh God, I am, I am fucking scared right now. I, I have no idea what's going to happen next. I don't know um, where this is going, but yeah. And I would really like them to not look at the spider so much. I would, I, I would prefer not to. I would, I would rather not. <laughs> Why? <laughs> like, yeah. I 
honestly really love this movie. I thought it was a great um, experience into horror, uh, great creature feature. Um, the spiders and, how, and why they keep getting so big and how they keep replicating is pretty disturbing. Like, it's straight up alien. Like, in fact, there's even one or two scenes where they literally copy alien, but it's deserved. I, I, for me, I think it's... It's a personally well-deserved homage to Alien. You'll understand when you see the movie. But yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I highly recommend Infested. If you have Shudder, or you want, if you want to rent it on Amazon Prime, go ahead, go right now. Like, yeah, this is a definite uh, recommend for me. I absolutely love this movie. I thought it was great. Um, great, and I really want to get it on Blu-ray. Uh, this is going to go in my Blu-ray collection the moment I hear that this movie is uh, um, available for physical uh, physical copy. That and Late Night with the Devil, and that's also going to be in my collection. Go check out Late Night with the Devil while, while you're at it. Uh, there's my recommendation. Like I said, I was going to do a review of that, but like everyone had done a review of that point, so, and everyone said it was good, so yeah, just go fucking check out Late Night with the Devil while you're at it. Anyway... So there you go, guys. That is my review of uh, Infested. Highly recommended. It, Like I said, it's arachnophobia turned up to 11. Anyway, so there you go, guys. That's my review. And like I said, I will be doing a review of Boy Kills World um, over on Patreon today. So if you want to check that out, hit the link below. Head on to Patreon. Hit the first tier. That'll allow you access to do so uh, to see that review. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the multiverse.